The writer of the book have personally experienced career shifts in her life and many of us also have wondered, what should I do? When can I do best? The book is being launched today, but how did the book came to reality? Because of that vision board, nagsimula sa isang board lamang. Pero ngayon, unti-unti lahat ng nasa vision board niya, unti-unting nangyayari. True enough, nandito tayo ngayon para sa kanyang book launch. With your almighty and powerful hand upon us, may we leave this gathering with a renewed passion, hope, and faith in ourselves and in our country. All this we lift up to you in the spirit of truth and love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I uh, just want to take a moment to say that it has been truly a, uh, a genuine pleasure and a gift to have known Penny for 34 years now. This inclusion of my short life story in this book has been possible because of the wonderful impact that Penny has made in my career and now is now a convergence of what I do where I experience the Lord in my life, where I engage people through my new uh, endeavors and at the same time the wonderful friendship of 34 years that I know will go on and, and go on and on. So congratulations Penny, it's been a pleasure to know you. It is a gift and a blessing to have become what I am because of the impact you have in my life. I can be proud of myself today that in five years I succeeded in my new endeavor and uh, I actually accomplished more than what I thought. Again, Penny, thank you and congratulations. So one thing I want to talk about is um, what it was like to transition from being a doctor to uh, an IT professional. Penny was quite a big help for me back then because when you're transitioning from one career to another, you're so full of self-doubt. Is this the right thing to do? Should I continue? Should I go back to my old career? And I remember those late afternoon um, discussions in Penny's office in Headstrong. And, you know, she'd always guide me and give me advice. And I'm so thankful for that. And I continued on the path. The, the one other thing I'd like to say is that you should be a continuous learner. So you should always be a student. Um, when you shift career, you're behind the curve. Um, you're trying to catch up and you're continuously catching up. So thanks, Penny, for letting me be a part of you. I'm very proud of you, girl. So when I finally met Penny, I saw this diminutive little girl and uh, still I wasn't impressed. But uh, as time went by, uh, Penny started showing her brains and physical prowess and that really started uh, you know, getting my interest. She was the only person in my entire career that got 100% in her performance evaluation. And I guess her career in HR started from there and the rest uh, is, is history. So congratulations on your book. It's, it, I'm very proud that I'm part of it. A lot of my friends want to buy it because I'm there too. So congratulations, Penny, and uh, thank you very much for including me in your book. So ako, Miss Penny, I'm thankful because uh, uh, you pursuing your passion and achieving your dream, you're giving me a permission na hindi dapat tumigil sa buhay. Kumbaga, kapit lang sa mga pangarap at uh, darating yung pagkakataon. Maybe now, it's the launching of Miss Penny's book. Maybe next time around, it won't be your book, but maybe something that you've been dreaming for. You've been used by God so many years now, blessing so many people now this book. This is just another step, a long journey, and the journey will continue, not just today, but for a long, long time. And we will be here for you, cheering you on, praying for you, and sharing in your joy. So after six months and uh, another how many years, Miss Penny, in the making, here's the technically first copy of Career Shift, Follow Your Passion. Many of my breakthrough goals have been fulfilled being a Canfield Certified Trainer, 
now writing this book. The journey of my life has been very, very interesting. I've lived an amazing life from an engineer to C CRD customer relations to HR to a teacher to a speaker to an all around. Nagre resibo din lahat kahit anong pagawa mo gagawin ko because I love to learn. And it, I think you never stop learning. I finished my MBA after 29 years, like right, Melanie, also another classmate of mine, who finished after 29 years. We never stop learning. And I encourage everyone to never stop learning. I'm very fortunate to have a loving family. I'm also very fortunate to have a very good relationship with the Lord. And for my Facebook friends, you know my posts every day every day thank you lord for the overflowing blessings in my life i put all my faith and trust in you this is a first of many and i encourage you if you are not happy with what you're doing think about it what will you make what will make you happy follow your passion and everything else will follow